I'm ready if you are. Right. And how does this go? Hello! This is a very raspy voice, Sam, from Dogfish, because I've been singing along to a very special Ask Dogfish Firefly Edition. We're outside our booth. It's intense in there, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Dogfish Head's beers are selling really, really well at Firefly. We just ran out of romantic chemistry, uh, but this has been a beautiful Firefly. The weather has shined on me. So many of my other Firefly goers have chosen to go pantsless. These, this table here, no pants, right behind us. <laughs> No pants, you can't tell, but I'm no pants. And the neat thing about the Firefly edition of Ask Dogfish is you had to be at Firefly to ask dogfish. All these questions are from fellow Firefly goers, 33% of which had no pants. So here's the part of Ask Dogfish that's oriented around the ask part of Ask Dogfish. So the first question is, what was the most colossal failure of an experimental flavor? And some of these in our 21 year history as a craft brewery. What's up, brother? Some of these were maybe failures and some of them were maybe before their time. For example, the one that I think was before its time was a beer we did in the late 90s called High Alpha Wheat. It was made with peppercorns and lavender buds. Back then, there was no interwebs that we were aware of. Uh, so we would put out like comment cards for our beers. And the first comment card for High Alpha Wheat came back and said, this beer, tastes like tongue-kissing Laura Ashley. And it had a lot of lavender, and now there's probably whole chat rooms about tongue-kissing Laura Ashley. And so we were like, okay, we need to do something with lavender again. And right now, in the marketplace, late spring, early summer 2016, you can find Beer de Provence, which is our mashup of Herbs de Provence, the traditional French culinary herbs that include lavender, rosemary, marjoram, bay leaf, and a Saison style or beer de garde, hence beer de Provence. So look for that beer on shelves right now. This is cool, this is a question about our distillery. At Firefly we can only sell our beers, but we have had a distillery for well over a decade. We were one of the earliest craft distillers in the country. About 13 years ago we started. All of our spirits are from scratch. We use the same grain silos that feed our brewery to feed the fermenters to make our gins, our vodkas, and, and our rums for, 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 uh, for local market as well. So the question is, will they ever be outside of Delaware? Answer is, oh yeah. We've already launched on Eastern Shore of Maryland, and we launch on Western Shore of Maryland in fall, and uh, then we'll get to DC, New Jersey, and other contiguous states as time rolls on, like it inevitably does. Guys, we got a live question here. This man also doesn't have pants on. Is gonna expand your spirit operations to distill whiskey at all? Oh, That's great right. question, great question. So brown spirits are all the rage, whiskeys, rye, um, and yes, Dogfish Head's always done a lot of wood-aged beers, which wood is what gives a lot of color to, to wood-infused spirits. So yes, we're getting ready with rows and rows of barrels to come out with some wood-aged spirits. High five? High five. Man. I like the way you have SPF on your face. Have I ever had a Kolsch? <laughs> yes, I have. But I drink a lot of orange juice, and I, I have some chicken soup. Oh, a Kolsch with a col with a sh on the end of it. So Kolsch, yes, Dogfish Head brewed our first Kolsch at our pub many years ago. But what I'm most excited about is taking Kolsch in a new direction. We have a beer coming out in bottles, coast to coast, in the end of July, early August, called Sea Quench Ale. Much like if you saw Dead Mouse or the White Panda at Firefly, this beer is a mashup. Basically, we take the Kolsch style, ferment that one day, second day on top of it we add a goza made with salts from the Chesapeake and sea salt from Maine and then also on top of that we add a thread of lime juice infused Berliner Weiss so the beer is really a mashup of a Kolsch, a goza, a Berliner Weiss, 4.9 ABV uh, basically tastes like a Rheinheitsgebo with margarita beer. Yes, I said the F word, people. By F word, I mean Firefly. So next question from, ne next, next question. Right now it is late June here in beautiful, sunny coastal Delaware. Uh, and within literally two weeks, we have a beer we're really excited for coming out called Flesh and Blood. So Dogfish Head has been doing 
uh, fruit infused IPAs for two decades, literally, starting in 96 at our pub with Aprahop that went out to distribution soon after that. But after 20 years of playing around with fruits uh, in beers like Namaste and Hellhound and uh, 61 and Aprahop, we've landed on a recipe that we want to go really hard on coast to coast. And it's called Flesh and Blood, Dogfish Head Flesh and Blood, because it's made with lemon flesh, orange peel, and blood orange juice, flesh and blood. Beautiful, beautiful citrusy IPA, beers that we've been doing for 20 years. It's so cool to see this subsection of IPAs blowing up and we're very proud of our, our part in the world of uh, citrusy IPAs. Look for flesh and blood coast to coast at the beginning of July. Of course we will, we're collab a hose. That's gonna happen. Another like collaboration on steroids that we have in our immediate future that weaves in our love of music uh, is Dogfish Head's really proud to host Analog A Go Go, which is a uh, kind of a love fest for music and beer at the same moment. This year we're blowing it up, we're hosting it in uh, Bellevue State Park just outside of Wilmington in the middle of September. Check out dogfish.com. Tickets are now live for sale. We have an amazing group of bands uh, from Preservation Hall to Caleb Quali to um, Built to Spill. Uh, and uh, then there's going to be like a great craft fair. Uh, so companies like Woolrich, American owned, family owned since before the civilization, uh, and, and Sid Vintage, awesome punk rock vintage clothing. And then there's going to be a cask festival as part of that. Every cask festival brewery involved with Analog is a brewery that we've collaborated with. So some of them are our local homies like Burley Oak and, and, and Iron Hill, but some of them come from pretty far away like Funky Buddha from down in Florida and even our uh, good friends from Beavertown in uh, London will be part of Analog. So get tickets soon, it's going to be sick. Well, at Dogfish, we make dozens and dozens of beer for distribution every year, and they're all our children, and we love them equally, uh, but we can't hang out with them all every day of the year. We have a lot of baby mamas, and beer baby mamas, uh, we see them with some frequency, but not always the same frequency. We love Firefly. Next year, we're thinking of actually mixing Firefly up and maybe asking our, our friends at Red Frog who put on Firefly and the Dogfish Head kind of online world to give your input on tweaking Firefly Pale Ale and maybe doing something with it that hasn't been done before. So keep, keep your eyes on Firefly. A new version's coming in 2017. Perhaps, or perhaps we'd can it. Who knows? At Dogfish Head, we like it in the can. We are gonna put in a canning line late fall this year, sometime around November. First beers off our canning line are 60 minute and flesh and blood, but you never know. Cans or bottles of Firefly, perhaps someday in the future, but we need you in 2017 to give your advice on tweaking that recipe and making it better, faster, stronger than it has to be. That's it! Guys, we did this together. It was pretty great. This was the 2016 edition of Ask Dogfish backslash Firefly backslash edu.org. Loved seeing you guys at this one. We will see you at 2017. High five. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. It takes a village. It takes a village, guys. We did it.